Good evening, I'm Mark Kiesling. And I'm Julie Williams. The Williamson County State's Attorney is calling it quits. He announced his resignation last night and it takes effect at the end of next week. The question now is who will replace Brandon Zanotti? News 3's Danny Valle joins us live from outside the Williamson County Courthouse. Danny, what have you learned? Well, Mark, Brandon Zanotti had two years left on his term, and now Democratic leaders are scrambling to find his interim replacement and someone who can run as a Democratic representative in November's special election. Meanwhile, Republicans in the county say they've already chosen their candidate just last month. Cases that involve children are always the very, very, very hardest for law enforcement. Brandon Zanotti became interim state's attorney in 2014. He was elected in 2016 and re-elected in 2020. But after eight years, Zanotti is stepping down. He'll end his term the way it began in a non-election year. I know Mr. Zanotti has had aspirations for a number of different things, and I, I think the timing apparently was just right. Last year, Senators Dick Durbin and Tammy Duckworth sent Zanotti's name to the White House as one of three recommendations for U.S. Attorney in Illinois' Southern District. Those rumors prompted Williamson County Republicans to select Tom Hampson as their pick if Zanotti resigned, according to Chairman Jeff Diedrich. Just last month, our organization took a vote uh, to move forward if the opportunity presented itself, if that office became vacant, that we would move forward uh, with Mr. Hampson. And we did that not fully knowing if and when Mr. Zanotti might depart that office. Zanotti faced controversy last month when he was charged with a DUI. But Diedrich says that didn't factor into Zanotti's decision. Diedrich is now focused on working with a state's attorney he says should be tough on crime. We have to hold those who commit crime in Williamson County accountable. Everybody is entitled to due process. They're presumed innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. But it takes somebody that has the acumen and the demeanor to fulfill the roles and duties of that office. Zanotti's resignation is, is effective later that week, Friday, July 22nd. We reached out to Zanotti for comment, but we have not heard back. Reporting live outside the Williamson County Courthouse in Marion, Danny Valle, News 3.